Accepting payments on Google Forms is not as straightforward, but in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can accept payments on Google Forms. So let me show you how right now. What's up everyone, this is George from Noob, and I'm going to show you how to accept payments in Google Forms. Now there's several methods available, and in this video, I'm going to show you all these methods. Now having a Google Form to accept payments is a great idea because obviously you're using a form that lets you have the flexibility of requesting questions and knowing other things that you might need for your payment process. Now in this case, we're gonna get started with a blank form, and in blank form is where we're going to get started with this tutorial, okay? So first off, you're gonna be able to accept payments with the basic methods, which would be linking out with a payment processor. In this case, for example, I'll be using PayPal, but you can use any payment processor that provides you a link. So for example, if I am going to accept payments with a donation link or another purpose link that you're gonna create over here, well, go over to forms, add all the information that you need to make your form useful. For example, multiple choice, check boxes, et cetera. And in the end, we're going to go to settings and in settings, we're going to go into presentation and we're going to edit confirmation message. So we're going to edit this and in the confirmation message, we're going to say, for example, pay here, and then we're going to add the link. Don't forget to save it. And let's go ahead and preview this. And I'm going to fill out a test email here for testing purposes, option one and two, and we're going to submit. And once you submit, you are greeted with this pay here. And we have the donate donation link or payment link that's going to take you to the payment processor. So we need to link out of Google form in this case to obviously make the payment. All right. Now that's one method. Another method that I'm going to show you that can be useful is by adding a QR code inside of the form. In this case, let me go ahead and remove this. Here we go. And I'm going to add a short question. So I'll just say uh, payment here, all right? And in this case, we're gonna use the image link. I'm going to browse, I'm going to use my QR code that I've generated. Again, in this case, I'm using uh, PayPal, but you can use something else. And you can have options here that can be, for example, service one, service two, or options, etc. And if we go to preview our form, we have our email here, and we have the option to scan the QR code and make the payment which is not so straightforward, not ideal. The next one that I'm gonna show you, it's a bit more complex, but would be the best option in my personal opinion for accepting payments in Google Forms. So let's get rid of this right now. Here we go, we cleared it out. Now, in order to use the best payment method in my opinion is by adding an add-on, okay? In this case, I've already added the add-on as payable forms, but there's several processors, processors that you can use to add an add-on, go to this options here, go to get add-ons, and then add-ons is gonna take us to all the add-ons available here. Now, like I said, there's several payment methods. In this case, I am going to use payable. Just go ahead and search for it. You are going to find it here. In this case, I've already installed it. And the setup process is pretty simple by accepting the terms. So it's going to ask you to accept the terms so payable can connect to Google Forms, which is pretty straightforward. And to add the payment method, again, give access to payable, all right? Now, in order for this to work, you have to kind of provide the options with the amount payable, and then it's gonna take care of it. So let's do this. So we're gonna add a question here. We're gonna use multiple choice, which is fine. And we're gonna say, for example, service. And we are going to say for multiple choice. We're going to say service. Here we go. Option one is going to be service number one. Option two is gonna be service number two. And we're gonna say $20. And the last one we're gonna say $30. So this is a way that we have to use in order for this system add-on to work. Okay. So we're going to go into this little puzzle here to the add-ons. We're going to enable payable forms in this form. Here we go. Let's go ahead and make this form payable. Here we go. It should open up a, an option here on the right. It's working. We should give it a few seconds for it to load. Here it is payable forms. And there's a step process that we have to go through in order for this to work. First off, auto configure form and sheets. Now, what this is going to do is configure the form and it's gonna also generate a Google Sheet where the data is gonna be stored. So that means that when the payment is made, it's gonna be added to this Google Sheet. For example, email address input. So it knows it's there. That's why we got a little check mark. Response destination set to Google Sheet. It was created successfully. 
and added payable column. So it did the steps that we needed for this. We can see the connected Google Sheet in this case, and it generated one. For example, timestamp, email service, the payable information, the status, and all that good stuff with this option. It did it automatically. And the next thing that we want to set up is a sync theme with checkout. Let me do that. Now, be aware that if you make modifications to this form, you will need to resync. OK, so this means that I now have a checkout page that's synced to this form. OK, so let me go ahead and preview this to show you how it's going to look. Here we go. This is just a demo of what they would view. For example, total amount, the name that we need to set up, set contact details, pay with PayPal in this case, because that's what I've connected. Let's go ahead and close this. OK, looks fine. And then we have to connect a payment provider. So in this case, you have several options for payment providers, for example. Here we go. You can set it up with Square, Stripe, PayPal Standard or PayPal e-commerce, Razor Pay and all these options. OK, be aware that this is connected with payable, right? So if I select PayPal, I will need to provide it access So connect to PayPal Standard. I'll need to log into PayPal in order for this to connect. Here we go. Go back to payable. All right. Close this window. It's now been successfully connected. OK, here we go. Connected. I can check the connection status. I know it's fine because I just did it. So let's go ahead and close this. You can see connected with PayPal. So right now, this should be a workable form that's meant for pay. All right. Now I can make this form payable enabled. So let's go ahead and enable it right now. Here we go. Amazing form submission and sending emails. OK, let's try out our payable form right now. It's in testing mode. So let me add a test email. Com option two for twenty dollars. Let's go ahead and submit. Here we go. We still need to click away from Google Forms in order for this to work. Here we go. The order is now ready. Total amount due twenty dollars because it's tied to the form. And we have the details here where I can make the payment right now. It's in testing form. So I can turn that off. So right now on practice, right? So again, as I mentioned, if you modify the amounts here, if you make some changes, add more options, etc., we will need to sync the theme with the checkout again. All right. So do consider that when using payable in this case. Now, there's other add ons that you can use for this purpose. You can go ahead and go through them here on the get add ons. So it's a straightforward way you could say to use payments in Google Forms. But if you're looking for a much cleaner solution where it's integrated inside of the form, I'm going to show you, for example, job form, which is a great option in job form. It's a built in payable system. So that means we don't need to go somewhere else. And they have over 30 plus payable systems available. So, for example, let me go ahead and create a, a form really quickly. I'll start from scratch, classic form, and we can go ahead and add our elements right here. And then we have the payment elements. You have available all these payment systems. So, for example, let me just go ahead and add full name, email, and let's add a payment service. For example, uh, PayPal Personal. Let's embed it inside of here, and we can go ahead and add our products here or services. So, for example, let's leave this one as it is. Let's add a second product, etc. So we have two products here, and this one will be a hundred dollars. Here we go. Let's go through the payment settings. I'll add my email here and I'll just say test that test since we are just doing a testing purposes. Select the currency, the payment type. In this case, it's products or services, etc. Select it from here. Let's go ahead and continue. Our products are available right here. We have options to add quantities, products, images. Uh, we can have inventory, coupons, shipping, taxes, invoices. Super complete compared to what you can do on Google Forms. OK, now once this is ready, we can go ahead and go to publish. We can preview the form right here. And in this form, we have the name, email, and the products. If I select this one, go ahead and submit, it'll take me to PayPal. In this case, I'm using the, an email that's not available, but it'll take you straight to PayPal. Super easy to do. It'll generate the invoice, it'll send the invoice via email, and everything is super easy to do here with these options. You got your payment settings, you got your properties here for this function, and you have available a lot of payment gateways that you can use depending where you are located in the world. You have payments that will work for certain countries and some others. So a lot of options available here. But if you need something simple that you can just use already in the Google form that you're using already, you have these three available options that I showed you 
in this, this video or a more complete service that you can use with job form. Well, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. And that's a wrap.